Bruce Grinch with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter, part of the new Nickelodeon series that's coming out later this year. As you can see, it says Splinter is the honorable sensei of the Ninja Turtles. The true leader, I guess. The mentor, the teacher, all that stuff. You got the turtles right there. Really good artwork. I'm still on the fence about the animation for these guys. Uh, it, it might work um, specifically if I actually like the, the actual stories being told, but we'll see. Um, now, it says includes ninja accessories, and I don't really see anything. Uh, I see that he comes with a staff, but... Um, other than that, I don't, I don't really know. I'm really kind of on the fence about this guy, mostly because, well, he, he's kind of weird looking. Uh, he doesn't really look like a rat. Flip around here on the back, and as you can see, uh, he's got more, or well, there's less white here on the actual character. There's a lot of white on here. It, it, it definitely doesn't look... Not really all that screen accurate, at least based off of this, so we'll see. But it says, protective and precise, Splinter is an unmatched ninja master with a playful and deep spirit that probably comes in handy ra raising his mutant sons, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Once a human known as Hamato Yoshi, Splinter continues his tradition of teaching ninjutsu and fighting the evil Foot Clan. His weapons really are just his hands, feet, and tail. The walking staff and anything and everything. Now, one thing that's interesting is that they say that he's a human once known as Hamato Yoshi. So it definitely sounds like they're really kind of relying on some of the original kind of cartoons that we got. At least from the 80s. And one thing that I actually just kind of noticed, the clamshell is actually kind of in the uh, the shape of the back of a turtle shell. Which is really kind of cool. So, um, there you have Splinter. Insert tail. Oh, I, I guess his tail comes as a separate piece. So you gotta, there's some assembly required. So let's get Splinter open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys. So here we have Master Splinter open up and out of his packaging. And th this is really the first figure that has kind of disappointed me with the new Ninja Turtle figures. Uh, all the turtles I absolutely love. Starting with Splinter, though, it really seems that they started to kind of go downhill. Th they don't look terribly bad. Now, now with Splinter himself, he, he kind of, I really don't like the coloring. Like I mentioned before, the coloring in his face is definitely not something that seems accurate, at least how he's depicted on the back of the packaging. But Playmates really seems to have, have gone backwards in terms of the articulation on these figures when you compare them to the, the actual turtles themselves. Now, appearance-wise, like I said, I mean, I don't think he looks too terrible terribly bad. I, I don't like the color coloring on his face. I think it's definitely lacking. Uh, it's way too white. Maybe a nice wash of gray kind of going through his, his little beard here would probably be pretty good. But it, it's really tough to even see his teeth. I mean, zooming in here, it, it, it he's got molded in teeth that you can definitely see. It's just, it, it kind of loses it uh, because of all the white. He, he really needs more coloring. Now, like the eyes, that looks really kind of cool. I mean, and he definitely has a very kind of kind of rat look to him, I suppose. But it, it just, it, it's really not coming across very well for me. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that just the coloring doesn't really help. Now, his articulation is also more limited than what we got with the turtles. His head just goes left and right. Um, there is no up and down or any kind of movement like that. It's just on the swivel joint, so that's all you're going to get. The arms here at the shoulder, getting his uh, his cane out of the way. The arms here at the shoulder, on a pin, they're on pin and socket joints. So nice range of motion all the way around, but the elbows just rotate. Um, that's that's all you're getting. It, it's just a rotation joint, which does again kind of kind of suck uh, now this is all sort of with the exception of his his sleeves here this is all kind of a soft rubber plastic um it, it can't remove but you can see that um lifting this up kind of i don't know if i can actually lift that in a way that you can see that there we go uh the the hips here are on pin and socket joints so nice range of motion there but nothing at the knees and you can see the feet or the legs themselves are stuck in this kind of action pose. They've, they've gone back to that, which a lot of the, and I'm just going to position this up just like that. 
<laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, and, and, I mean, it's stuck in this pose, much like a lot of the other turtles and other figures used to be. They've really kind of gone back to that, which... I, I guess it it kind of disappoints me because they did so much with the turtles that I thought was good. I'm, I'm really kind of disappointed to see them go backwards to these action poses. And the feet, the way that they are, really sometimes relies on the tail to actually hold them up. Unless you get these properly positioned um, to get them to actually stand. And then again... The, there, there's just a, a fair well, I mean I guess it doesn't really matter if, if you're going to have this down um, you don't see it all that much I guess but he actually has kind of like tape around his shin and his feet uh, that would have been nice if that was painted white I mean I could probably do that myself but I really would have liked to have seen a little bit more effort put into it and you can see that like I said there's a lot of relying on his tail to keep him standing and, and it, it works but it really still kind of sucks. And you can see that the actual uh, kimono here, because I think that's actually what this is, um, is designed in a way that it actually is supposed to keep his like legs in a, in a certain position. Like you can see that they're flailing out right here, much like this knee actually does. So uh, it, it's, it's not bad. The articulation is still kind of there. But you can see where they're starting to limit some of the articulation in some of, I guess, the secondary characters. And I really don't think they should because all of these characters are main characters. Splinter is a main guy. Shredder is a main guy. Krang is a main guy. And all of them have limited articulation, more so than the Turtles themselves. Now, setting him off to the side, I really do like his staff, um, but it's kind of weird. It's this kind of almost translucent aqua-colored stick. I don't know why it would be this color. If it, if it's a staff, it, and I mean, we, we it, it may have a reason for being this color. I, I honestly don't know. But if it's just supposed to be like a wooden staff, it's a weird color for it. The, the color, it's not a bad color. I mean, it, at, at all. But it's 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 just a weirdly colored staff, I guess. So that's really kind of strange. Now, in terms of a size comparison, here's Splinter, and here he is next to the four turtles. Now. He, he is actually a little bit taller. Uh, I, I don't know if the camera's playing a little bit tricks on you, but um, really Donnie is kind of the tallest, and you can see that not even including the ears, Don, Donnie is a little bit taller. When you throw the ears in there, Splinter actually does get bigger. Now, he is obviously much bigger than, than Mikey, uh, and then the next tallest one, maybe Leo. Uh, you can see here that actually at the head, um, just the top of the head, the brow here, he's a little bit taller than Leonardo is. Um, let's see how he looks with Wrath. Um, that looks really kind of awkward. But, uh, yeah, Splinter looks a little bit taller here at the head uh, th than Raph as well. Just, just Donnie is uh, a little bit taller than he is. But uh, w when you include the ears, he's, he's a taller figure. But his knees are bent, so... Uh, <laughs> That was my wife. Sorry. <laughs> that usually doesn't happen. But <laughs> but uh, there you see Splinter next to all the, all the turtles. And then for another size comparison, here you see him next to the CGI version from the TMNT movie. And Splinter also from the new 2003 series. And you can see that, like, for example, the 2003 series, he's got this weird kind of action pose going on. But the uh, TMNT movie version, it's kind of a normal set of legs, although they're not articulated. They just rotate, so there's really not much going on with, with that, I suppose. And then for a final comparison, here is next to what I deem my classic version. This is the mutating splinter, uh, kind of from the vintage line. And you can see a very big difference here. <laughs> he's a much bigger looking rat. Now, all in all, I really don't think that the Splinter figure is a bad figure, and I do still highly recommend picking him up. But when it comes down to it, he's definitely a figure that you could probably pass on initially and pick up at a later time. Um, come back later on and try to get this guy. It, it's not something that I really think is going to be hard to find, and it's, it's one, like I said, that I really think that you can pass on and, and pick up at a later date and, and not be too terribly disappointed in uh, not picking him up. I, I really don't think that you're going to go to the store 
pass on him and be like, man, I really wish I bought Splinter. He's definitely a character that you're going to want to have in your display in your collection, but not not right off the get-go. So, um, there you go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter figure from the upcoming Nickelodeon cartoon. And until next time, this has been Optobotomous. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later.